everybody, this is Waldorf. And this is Stetler. And today we're going over the alchemy path of magic for the beta 2.0. Sounds like that a enough? mouthful. It sure, was. why not? Yes. It was a lot. I wasn't sure where to stop on there or whatever. <laughs> I'm not sure you were you're sure where to start I on wasn't that. even. I was not. <laughs> but we did it. So this yeah. is alchemy. Uh, alchemy has a attribute spell, which is an 18 inch range hex that gives you flammable and against melee, makes a unit flammable versus melee attacks. Um, so not bad. It's a nice spell, except it, you know, not quite as good as what it was, but still a really good spell. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's helpful. I won't yep. say that's, you know, fantastic. But, well, because uh, some of your other stuff is flaming. So yes. That, that it's, helps. it's the melee attacks. It doesn't help you against Correct. shooting attacks. It used so. to be against spells as well. The spells as well, which, yeah. But anyway. So. Yeah. Okay. The number one spell, and just a reminder, um, your apprentice can have the number one spell, your adept can have one through four, and your master can have one through six. Um, and that's important now that you see how they've reordered the spells, so only the masters have access to certain things. Okay, number one, Quicksilver Lash. Uh, casting a 7, range of 24, it's a hex missile damage, instant. Target suffers D3 plus 1 hits with flaming attacks, magical attacks, and armor penetration 10. So no armor, basically. Uh, these hits always wound on a roll equal to or greater than the target's armor save. Um, an unmodified 6 is always wounds, and a Unmodified one always fails to wound. So whatever your armor save is is what they wound. It's the old metal shifting. It's a just... whole lot to say metal shifting. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess at least that way you don't have to go to the rule book and figure out what it is. Correct. <laughs> or create reasons to use the metal shifting. Um, <laughs> so it's a standard rule. So nah, that's fine. Uh, so it's basically the same as it was before. It's nice against armored stuff. Yep. And particularly if it's particularly tough armored stuff. <laughs> the... yep. That brings us to the Word of Iron, which yes. casts on a 5 or a 9. It's got a 24-inch range. It's an augment. Lasts one turn. The target gains plus 1 or plus 2 armor. This is actually really nice. Full turn to gain... Uh, yeah. Gain a point of armor is usually not going to help you much, but it's nice it can put you over that edge where it matters. If you're high up on the scale... You really need to learn how to turn that thing off. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but plus two armor makes a big difference. Can make a big difference. Even plus one. Anyway, whatever. Listen, if you've got a two up guy, you can get him to a plus one. That's a, that makes yep. a, that's a big difference. So it just depends what you're playing with. But uh, very, anything you can do that helps your protection, I, I think, agree. is a is a wonderful thing. And if you can get it to two, fantastic. But casting with nine, that's 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 a few dice. That's four dice. <laughs> so you you need to want it. Brings us number three, Glory of Gold. Uh, Cast on an eight, 18 inch range, just augment, last one turn. The target gains plus one armor penetration, flaming attacks, and magical attacks. That's weird because it used to have magic attacks, flaming attacks, and plus one armor penetration. Well, this is a different order, so it makes it better. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not as good because it dropped two points on casting. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, still a nice spell. So they actually made this overall easier to cast. Right. And. When you're fighting against somebody with armor, it's nice to be able to get through it when you don't well, have an easy way to do it. It's also nice when you're fighting against somebody. When you cast this on your unit and the unit you happen to be fighting against somehow gets the alchemical fire cast on it. <laughs> there is that. There is that. Yeah. It's a two-for-one <laughs> yes. spell. Yes. Well, it's... And <clears> then, <throat> um, yes. And then when you can get uh, flamey attacks on something flammable, which the yes. spell will do for you. Yes. That's very nice. Or if you're playing against something... Uh, ghostly <laughs> whatever the rule is i can't remember oh yes it's supernal i don't remember um Different rule, but yeah is uh the magical attack so nice spell all right that brings us to number four the molten copper uh cast on a seven or a ten it's a 24 inch it's a hex missile damage target suffers 2d6 or 3d6 hits with strength three armor penetration three flaming attacks and magical attacks this is a uh, was a very good spell before, and now it's even better. Because it used to be strength 2, now it's strength 3, retaining the AP 3. I this is a really good spell. Really good spell. <laughs> uh, I mean, when it was strength 2, it was nice spell. Now it's a good spell. 
um, yeah, no. Well, the big thing is now at strength two, it used to be good, but really, often if you were they weren't on armored, sixes. yeah, if they weren't <laughs> you know? armored, you're not that worried. You know, it's not that great. But now, this is good. This is as good as a magic missile against it's, a it's chaff a, unit. It's a it's a magic missile. It's a strength three, two d six, strength yeah, three missile. It's a scary. It it's a scary magic missile. Yep. So oh, yeah, nope, like it. Okay, brings us to the number five spell. Getting into the master. Uh, wizards now corruption of tin cast on eight range of 36 a hex it's permanent uh, <laughs> the target suffers <laughs> minus one armor this is a very good I, I, I always like this spell I typically let this spell go when they cast it yeah and you end up regretting it yeah. on turn five or six but, but if, if you're feeling somebody who feels monstrous cavalry you just hate this spell correct because <laughs> you know, now they're shooting the hell out of you after they but cast But you're like, it. well, I'm a three-up armor. I can deal with a four. I'm okay at four-up. <laughs> Next thing you know, you're a five-up. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, anyway. or they're hitting you with something that's a minus one armor right. save or strike. Yeah. No, it's it's nice. So that brings us to the Silver Spike. Another Master Wizard spell. Um, with a six, casting at six or nine, 18 inch or 36. It's a hex, it's a missile, it's damage, instant. Target suffers one hit. With strength three, um, six, armor penetration ten, magic attack multiple wound D three and penetrating. So it's you know it's a bolt thrower. It's an auto hit bolt thrower shot. Exactly. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> it's a little easier. It's what it is. Um, you need to cast it on a nine to hit something at thirty six. Only a six at eighteen. Yep. Uh, it's a, another nice spell. I like it. I always have liked it. Still do. And that's those are those those are the spells for alchemy. Yep. Um, I like this lore a lot. Still, uh, I've always liked it. They made the changes to it. I still like it. I just wish uh, my primary armies could use it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to switch over to an army that can use exactly. This. I, I I do have some painted models for some <laughs> for some like um, Empire of an Stall. Got an infernal dwarf. And army. I have an infernal dwarf army. Yeah. You can feel that. It's about time to uh, dust those guys all yeah. off. You can borrow some of my orcs if you just want to do lots of slave units. Well, I got plenty of orcs. You do? <laughs> you know oh, yeah, that. foot orcs? Yeah. So, yeah. I didn't know you had just plain foot orcs. That <laughs> many of them. I guess you do. Never mind. <laughs> anyway, so that's going to do it for alchemy. So, yeah, so thumbs up. Thumbs up, definitely. Two thumbs up for alchemy. Thanks for listening. Till next time. <laughs>